We received a new machine in the store this morning from Janome. It's called the Skyline S5. It is a quilting machine with a longer arm than a standard machine. It's a 9 inch arm. has extended lighting over your working area as well as lighting over your sewing area. This bed still pulls off so that you have the open arm so you can do garment sewing very easily as well as quilting. When you open up the lid you've got a beautiful uh, selection of different stitches, regular stitches, quilt stitches, the alphabet built in, uh, in a couple of different font styles in capitals as well as lowercase. It has everything you need uh, to sew with and quilt with. It is so quiet. When I sat and sewed on it this morning I thought that uh, this would be a nice, nice machine for anybody who likes a quiet machine. So right now it is on a straight stitch. So you can hardly hear it, so you've got a reverse right here, as well as what we call a lock stitch. So this locks your stitch for you, ties a little knot, and then you have a scissor up here, which clips your thread for you, top and bottom, and it pulls the two little threads down to the bottom, finishing the seam for you. The stitch is perfect, and it is so easy to use. When you want to change your stitch, you just select the stitch that you want to sew from your display. I'm pointing to stitch number 16. So I just use on my pin pad here, I just press 1 6 for 16. Up here it tells me what presser foot I should put on to do that stitch with. Presser foot M. Every presser foot has a letter in there, and when you select your stitch, it's going to tell you what letter is on the presser foot that you should use for that stitch. And simple as that, it has selected the stitch length and stitch width for me. I can override it with these little arrow buttons here, making it longer or wider. And with any stitch, when I want to come to the end of it, I tap my lock stitch. It ties a knot by pressing the little scissor button, clips my thread for me, top and bottom, and it's locked and pull down to the bottom. Beautiful stitches. This part here is your quilt stitches. So to do those, they are in mode two. Again, very easy to use. It says mode two, so I find the little pad here that says mode. I press it until two is on my screen. Now I'm ready to select a stitch from this section here. So it's got really nice little stitches here with a scissor in there, a spool of thread, a little airplane, a truck, a bow. So if you want to do the bow, it's number 85. Just press 85. There it tells me to put presser foot F on. I would put that presser foot on and away we go with doing the little bow. I want to do one bow. Tap the lock stitch button just after you start sewing. It's going to stop at the end of one of those bows and lock the stitch for me and there's my little bow stitch. I could do a whole row of them, but because I chose just one, it does one neat bow. The threading on this machine is super easy. I've just unthreaded it here. You've got a thread path that you follow with arrows and numbers. So just, just put it into the slot where it says number one. Bring it down. It says number two actually. Number three is here. Back up. This opens up so that you can see in here nicely. Number four is up here around. Number five is down by my needle. And it has a needle threader built onto it. I just pull down the needle threader, hook the threader, push it back into place, and my needle is threaded that easy. It has a, what they call an easy set bobbin. Um, some sewers, and mainly beginner sewers, when they put the bobbin in, uh, they don't know where this thread goes. It's, it's a little confusing to some people sometimes. And, but th this machine has made it very easy. The machine puts the thread in the correct position. You drop your bobbin in, swing it into the slot, bring it around in the direction again of the arrows and the numbers. That says number one. It says number two here. 
it cuts my thread for me and holds my thread underneath in the correct position. You'll never get any tangling or anything like that that is so common with a lot of sewers. So we have this in the store already and we have inventory. The price is very attractive. Come in and check it out. That's the Janome Skyline Model S5.